Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we are completing the side quest, Polyjuice Potion, helping Penny in the Great Hall. So either we're creating Polyjuice Potion, or somebody else is using Polyjuice Potion, or Penny has been using Polyjuice Potion this whole time. I don't know, let's find out. We're meeting Penny in the Great Hall to help her with something. Dumbledore's there. Oh wow, I love pumpkin juice. A riveting conversation. And... What? Professor Snape? <laughs> Why do I feel compelled to explain myself? That is Professor Sprout. Compelled to ruin my meal. You're not Professor Snape. Professor Snape isn't even in here. Jam City. Don't worry, you'll get the hang of Hogwarts eventually. I've got, I've got the hang of it. Shiny, something terrible has happened. Oh my god, what, Penny? What can I do? It's worse than when my wand got tangled in my plaits. I'm sure there's a charm to untangle your hair. I don't care about that. Have you seen a witch sharpening potion anywhere? Oh, I don't even know what a witch sharpening potion is. It just vanished. I spent weeks working on that potion. It's the most difficult one I've ever brewed. Don't worry, Penny. I'll help you find it. Right, time to search the Great Hall for Penny's potion. Someone stole it, we will find out. Hagrid, oh, it's Penny and Shiny, two of my favourites. Um, Filch, what have you got to say for yourself? Oh, I'll cut off the Haywood's pigtails and give them to Mr. Norris. It's play toys. <laughs> okay. A potion? I couldn't tell you. Wish I could help you. Stick with Miss Haywood, she's one of my most promising Hufflepuffs. I will. Sure, for life. What? A potion? Have you checked the potions classroom? No, actually, no. <laughs> no. You, and Miss you and Penny Haywood are friends. You're cooler than I thought. Can't talk. I'm studying for my owls. What potion? What are you talking about? I didn't steal any potions. Why would I take Penny's potions? Because she's the best potion maker in the school. So, right, let's continue our search. We've, we've got some energy back. Are you idiots accusing me of stealing? Yes. I'm a ruler. It's like a number one suspect success right what's going on penny did we find anything or have we hit a loading screen do the nip the days do the nip the days like this do the nip the days do the nip the days like this come on Pretend you got a ball in your hands. Pretend you got a ball in your hands. Like a ball. And then go like this. It would appear it is stuck. And yes, it's pretty much back. I give up. We're never going to find my potion. Wait, what's Marola doing at the high table? Uh oh. Uh. It was her. Professor Snape. Professor Dumbledore, I wanted to show you my incredible witch sharpening potion. Ah, oh, the ruler who stole it. Let me see that. Hmm. That's my potion. My ruler stole it. In all my years as a professor, this is the most impressive witch sharpening potion I have ever seen a student Brew. <sighs> Headmaster, take a look for yourself. My word, yes, it is indeed an absolutely exquisite wit sharpening potion. I would expect nothing less from a gifted Slytherin. Miss Snide deserves special recognition. <laughs> Agreed. We should all aspire to match such an admirable dedication and technique. Thank you, professors. Of course, I only brewed this potion to further my education, but I will gratefully accept your generous praise. That phony, deceitful little rat. What should we do, Shiny? Forget about it, make it right, or get revenge. Look, I always say, forgive and forget is something that should never apply when it comes to Marula. We're gonna get revenge. <laughs> Don't worry, Penny. We'll make Marula pay for what she did. <laughs> Love evil. 
I won't rest until everyone knows that I brewed that potion. Follow me, Shani. I know how to make this right. Did you see how fast she is? Damn, that girl got speed. <laughs> Look how fast she is. I've never seen Penny this angry. I sort of can't wait to see what happens next. It's going to be good. Meet me in the clock tower courtyard. I think I've worked out how to get back at Marula. I'm coming. Jane. Hey, Jane. I wish my fellow Hufflepuffs had a bit more of that competitive spirit. I hope someday I'm as good at potions as Marula. We can't let Marula take credit for my potion. But how do we get her to confess? Let's brew Veritaserum. Let's attack her. Let's reason with her. Hmm, I ain't reasoning with her, because that's never happening. Brewing Veritaserum could be a good way to get her to confess. Confess? Confi confess? <laughs> uh, or we could attack her. Why does Polyjuice Potion come in? I want to brew Polyjuice Potion, pretend to be her, and then confess. Let's brew Veritaserum. We don't need to attack somebody to get what we want. Veritaserum is a powerful truth telling potion. We could use that to get Marula to tell the truth. Veritaserum? That's newt level stuff. I'm good at potions, but that's too advanced. So, what are we going to do? Marula will never admit to us that she stole my potion and lied. But she might confess if we use Polyjuice Potion. Yeah, let's do it! Polyjuice Potion? Doesn't that change your appearance? It does, and it's extremely difficult to brew. But I can do it. Yes. You really think it'll make Marula confess? Well, it won't do that. I hope so. Let me tell you my plan. Wait, are we turning into Marula? Tell me all about your plan. We need to find a way to convince Marula to tell the truth. If you had Polyjuice Potion right now, who would you want to look like? It's a very good question. To be honest, if I could change into anybody, I'd probably change into Ben Copper and just kind of go around people and see if there's anybody that's like, so Ben Copper, what have you learned about Shiny Hunter whilst being a, a, a what's it called, a spy? Whilst being a spy. And then, and then I'd be like, oh, Madam Rakepick. You're getting bent to spy on me, and or I might bump into some evil person, and they'll be like, "Tell me, what are you doing, Ben? Tell me, Ben, what have you learned on your quest to become a Death Eater?" It's a good question. Let me know what you guys would do in the comment section below. Who would you turn into, and then what would you do as that person? Polyjuice potion requires several hard to gather ingredients. Well, I guess we'll have to gather them. Who is Marula afraid of? Hmm. All oh, right, so we're gonna pretend to be somebody and then go to Marula and get her to confess. Polyjuice potion takes almost a whole month to brew. Oh my God, like waiting three hours costs 45 gems. Imagine how long that's gonna take cost. How much that's gonna cost. Imagine how much that's gonna cost. Who would Marula listen to? We need to find a way to convince Marula to tell the truth. Success. I understand that you want to use Polyjuice Potion, but the big question is, who are you going to turn into? Who do you think could make Marula confess? Dumbledore, Snape, or Marula's mother? S -s Snape, easy. Professor Snape is Marula's head of house and a strict teacher. She'd confess to him. Exactly. Marula would confess to Snape in a heartbeat if he challenged her. You're going to make yourself look like Professor Snape. No, I'm going to make you look like Professor Snape. <laughs> That's a good one, Penny. What? Imagine the damage we could do. I mean, it could have been worse. She could have turned me into Marilla's mum. I was just thinking, if I turned into Marilla's mum, how are you going to explain what she's doing at Hogwarts? Mar Marula, I've come here to tell you off for lying. I sensed it. Nah, Snape will make her confess. Why me? Someone needs to distract the real Snape so he doesn't walk in when we confront Marula. I can get Snape to talk to me about the nuances of potion making for hours. Tell me if I'm wrong. But it seems like he hates you. You got me there. You are not wrong. It takes a long time to brew Polyjuice Potion. I should get started right away. I'll need you to help me gather ingredients. Give me some time to work out where we can get all the ingredients. 
I'll let you know when I'm ready. I'm loving this. A whole side quest with Penny. Right, so on to searching for ingredients in the potions classroom with Penny. Meet me in the potions classroom. We should be able to find most of what we need there. Come on, Penny. We can find some of the ingredients for Polyjuice Potion here in the potions classroom. Once you drink the potion, you'll look exactly like Professor Snape. Marul will have to confess to Snape that she stole my potion. I bet you'll make a great Snape, Shani. Rehearse saying stuff that's grumpy and gloomy. <laughs> hmm. I despise everything about you, Hunter. <laughs> Stop it. I feel like you've hit me with the tickle jinx. What ingredients do we need to find? Fluxweed, not grass, and lacewing flies. They're on these shelves over here, but it's hard to see. Allow me. Lumos. Brilliant. Let's hurry and find those ingredients, just in case Snape is drawn by the sounds of your impersonation. Three hour class. Search for these and then hopefully we'll be able to make the apologies potion. Niffler's fancy. Apparently there is no Niffler inside. Thank goodness. Right? Where have I hoped to find it's not in here? Might be something hiding back here. Neem, Nettle, Newt, Nightshade, Bats, Beetles, Belladonna, Flitterbee, Flobberworm, Fluxweed. I like in that whole, whole mission, the text was different each time. Thank you, Jump City. I wonder if Snake knows about this jar. Complete. I found it. Lacewing flies. And here's the Knotgrass and Fluxweed. Perfect. We're on our way to brewing the perfect Polyjuice Potion. How do you know how to brew this potion anyway? Snape mentioned it to me in class, so I sneaked a book from the restricted section in the library that had its recipe. Don't worry, I'll put the book back when we're finished. No one will be the wiser. I never pictured popular Penny Haywood as a rule breaker. A lot of peas. <laughs> we're just getting to know each other, Shiny. Okay, what's that look about? That's the most evil look Penny's given us, like she's hiding a deep dark secret that she doesn't want to tell us that she's not really good. She's not really on our side. I don't know. Maybe it's not Penny. Maybe that's why she knows how to create a Pelagius potion. Stop it! Stop ruining my time with Penny. We still need to gather bicorn horn and boomslang skin. They're a little harder to come by. My friend Lizard Tuttle can get them for us. Wait. Lizard Tuttle. Are we talking about Liz? Liz from Care of Magical Creatures. Lizard Turtle. Is that kind of magical reptile beast? Tuttle. Her nickname is Lizard. She's an amazing Slytherin in our year who's obsessed with magical creatures. Ah, it is Liz. She even names every flobberworm she meets. She sounds cool. Nope, she sounds strange. Is she mad? She's different, but really, really cool. A magical creatures expert could be a big help to you. I need to start stewing lacewing flies for the polyjuice potion. That process could take weeks. I wish I could be there when you and Lizard meet. We're gonna make a new friend. Let's go meet Lizard. We've seen her in Care of Magical Creatures. We haven't yet officially met. So let's. Okay, a little creepy. Excuse me, are you Lizard? Penny Haywood sent me to meet you. Stop right there. Billywig, Bowtruckle, or Bundaman? Huh? Billywig, Bowtruckle, or Bundaman? Bowtruckle. So you're a nature lover like me. Maybe you'll live in a tree one day. I tried it for a bit. All I did was say Bowtruckle. I feel like we already know so much about each other. A lot of people make fun of me for asking that question. Sometimes I hit those people with a bat bogey hex. That sounds quite mad. <laughs> uh, I know. I'm not so good around people. I do much better around animals and creatures. I'm Liz Tuttle. Everyone calls me Lizard. You know, because of the animal thing. I know I've given her a, a, a like, almost lunar, love good accent, but she's kind of similar, isn't she? You're in Slytherin, right? Do you have a problem with that? No, I'm not all. It's just that the Slytherin I've spent the most time with is, well, evil. I was going to say Marula, but, but yeah, pretty much. Wait, whoa. Most time, I've spent most time with Barnaby. And Barnaby's an awesome Slytherin. Marula's not all bad, just mostly bad. Penny said you have potion ingredients for me? Yes, bicorn horn and boomslang skin. 
No creatures were harmed in the gathering of these ingredients. <laughs> That's... I actually quite like that. I really like Penny. She brews a lot of potions, but unlike Snape, she cares where her ingredients come from. She took the time to be nice to me, even though everyone else says I'm strange. People say the same thing about me, and a lot of my friends. If we were friends, I'd lose a pack of crooks on your enemies. Uh, well, we could become friends. I kind of have a lot of friends at the moment though, but I want those binoculars, so let's be friends. Crups are like little doggies but with forked tails. They have wet noses and floppy tongues and their barks are so cute. I want a crup. Honestly, they're not very good attacking animals, but they're fun to pet. I'd let you pet mine if we were friends. Are we becoming friends? That sounds nice. I think I sort of lost track. Well, Penny, I say hi, Shiny. Let me know if you ever need any special ingredients. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Liz. Are we... Are we friends now? Ah, I really want Liz, Liz to be in our friends. 